wow, it's pretty explicit about uh, the methods of God versus the methods of the world. <clears throat> God, uh, throughout, throughout the scripture, throughout his words, written on the pages of the 66 books of the Bible, says that holiness and righteousness and purity and moral integrity is a very uh, important to God. It's very big in the eyes of God. It's a high, high priority to be an imitator of God in behavior and thought and speech in manner of life. That we are supposed to be concerned about our conduct being pure and righteous and holy, not profane, not uh, belligerent, not cruel, not blasphemous, not uh, unholy, ungodly, <clears throat> but godly. Holiness and righteousness and goodness. That those are the those are the characteristics that we're supposed to exhibit to others and uh, to ourselves, and most importantly, in, in God's sight, because <clears throat> uh, God is always watching us. Uh, it, uh, he knows what we say. He actually hears what we say, and he knows what we think, and he uh, sees our behavior and how we conduct ourselves. Though he doesn't have necessarily physical eyeballs like humans, but uh, he's able to see us. Though he doesn't have uh, flesh, you know, fleshly eyes. And God can hear us, though he doesn't have uh, fleshly ears. And God can, I'm assuming God can feel us, even though he doesn't have skin. Which is amazing. You know, when you think about it, you know, radar, radar and, you know, man-made uh, instruments, electronics, uh, they can hear, they can see, they can feel, robotics. Uh, and yet, but they still have to have physical, physical apparatus to be able to do so. But I'm not sure with God, you know, the Bible says that God is invisible. That God is spirit. So how in the world does God see and how does he hear and how does he feel if God doesn't possess physical form? Uh, that's pretty amazing. <clears throat> because uh, we, we think in terms of uh, physical senses, you know, the five senses. Hearing, sight, feeling, and uh, what are the other two, I don't know what those are. But, uh, yeah, we tried, that's how we understand, how we relate to one another. But uh, with God, we're created in His image. So, God hears, God sees, God feels, uh, all these things, and yet without physical form. But yet He created, his, he created us with physical form. So that's kind of interesting. So but the Bible also says that uh, we'll continue to exist without physical form because we have a soul and a spirit. And so after this body uh, is no longer uh, necessary, uh, we'll still live on. We'll still... Uh, exist even without a body so uh, very interesting so apostle paul says to glorify god in the body and in the spirit so holiness is important in all aspects of our being in our body soul and spirit the triunity you know they talk about god being uh, a triunity threefold being father son and holy spirit well that that's a true principle and even in nature because you have the body you have the body the the spirit and the soul that's a triunity 
And uh, there are other things that uh, have three parts, like water, like H2O, steam, and liquid, and, and uh, vapor, and ice, those three. An egg, an egg has, has, has a triunity, the shell, the yolk, the white. Now, what else has a triunity? So, you know, God has not left himself without witness. Uh, the, trinity, the trinity is even exempl exemplified in nature. 